Good afternoon. Welcome to a frigid Friday. And uh, we want to have a conversation about a hot topic on a cold day that I'm sure is uh, on everyone's mind, and that's the weather. And how do we make calls, or why did we have school today? Um, those kinds of things. Um, today, I know the temperature reached like a negative 16 for a brief period of time and then went above that. I think on our website we have something posted that says negative 15 um, is the threshold. That's what we use for guidance as we look at it. So when we talk about a threshold, that would be for a prolonged period of time uh, when we look at that. But how do we make that decision or how does Mr. Cobes go about making that decision about snow days, cold days, days of inclement weather? Um, not lightly. Let's put it that way. We begin watching the forecast days in advance um, and tracking what's going to happen in regards to that. And then we continue to track that up until the night before. Luckily, in our area, we have the fort and uh, we work with 207 and our surrounding districts to make some determinations. But also, we get the best weather report we can from the fort and the most accurate one. We know if the Ford is going to change its operations, something is going on and it's going to be pretty significant. What we also do in addition to that is, is that um, typically we are up at four. Uh, the Leavenworth County superintendents are talking about what they're seeing in their area. Um, and then at 4.30 I'm on the road and I drive the roads from about 4.30 until 5 a.m. Uh, Jimmy Slapper and I, the transportation director, will communicate with each other around five, make sure the buses are functional and that the roads are in safe enough condition for everyone to travel. We touch base once again with our area superintendents. We also monitor our surrounding counties, so Wyandotte County, Johnson County as well, to see what's going on in their areas because we know we have people driving in from there. Um, and so we want to be aware of that and conscious of that as well. And so this morning, as I said, uh, when we looked at the uh, temps, we saw it might go dip below that 15 for a short period of time, but then get above that um, as well. So uh, two of the things that are major concerns as I think about my job, one is, is I never want tragedy that happened within our school with an active shooter or anything like that. And the other one is never want an accident on a day um, that has inclement weather. Uh, but we balance that out. We have to think about the inclement weather piece um, in balance with our students. Uh, for some of our students, this is the safest place they have during their day. This is the warmest place they have. This is a place where they're actually going um, to be able to eat and get a meal. And so there's part of that that goes into consideration is kids need to be in school. Um, the other part of it is, is we have a limited number of days of instruction um, to be able to get the kids what they need to be successful the next year and then ultimately in life. And so we want to get as many of those instructional days in as possible in a safe way, um, in a safe way. So those are all considerations um, that we or I uh, deal with as we um, look at snow days. Uh, unfortunately, uh, not everyone is going to agree with those calls. Um, but we, we make them based upon the reasoning that I just described. And so I thought maybe that would be at the front of your mind today and thought I'd spend a little time talking about it. Have a great weekend.